Good morning, people. Uh, we're out here on a Friday morning out at Lake Mead. Uh, just launched out of Echo Bay. Uh, this is my second episode uh, on my page, so uh, we'll see what we can do today. Uh, I'm going to go uh, striper fishing. And uh, also, I, I might try my hand at um, some crappies. I don't know. We might hit some of these coves, look at uh, some of the cliffs and stuff. And I've never caught a crappie before, so maybe we'll try it. So um, I also got a couple of recommendations on some lures uh, that I want to try out that I ordered. I got in yesterday. Uh, thanks to for the recommendation from Henderson Hooken. Um, so we're going to get going. Uh, Wish me luck today, and uh, thanks again for watching this uh, video. If you like it, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you. So this is a lure that was recommended to me by uh, Henderson Hook and it's a uh, Rapala DT-16. Now it might be a, a different color. This is a Helsinki Shad. This is the only one that I could get off of Amazon that would uh, show up in time for today's fishing trip. But while I was looking for this one, um, I saw this one also. It's a Norman Lures. It's an 11 to 17 foot uh, one. So I went to try them both today. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, I can tell you this if I don't catch fish. It's probably not the lures fault It's probably mine because I'm a beginner. So we'll see how this works out Got a nice little movement to it. This might be fun. <laughs> fun little guy. He's supposed to swim down to like 17 feet. Anywhere from like 10 to 17. Let's see what happens with him. Like a, a choppy but wavy the water is this morning. Enjoy the ride, drink some coffee, catch some fish. Really want to catch some crappies. Never caught a crappie before. I heard they taste really good. Now, I've been asked, my Uncle Marty asked me on the last video if I eat the stripers that I catch or do I release them back? Nobody, I, uh, I eat them. I think they taste great. So. The small ones I'll throw back. I'm gonna let them grow up and stuff. But man, Lake Mead has so many stripers on it. That's one one thing I did learn coming into this hobby about bass fishing. When that really starts getting hot and heavy, now there's a huge controversy over whether you should catch and release bass or eat them or what size and stuff. So, man, I didn't I didn't. Every hobby I've been in, whether it's been racing or whatever, there's always been controversies and stuff like that. You would think that with fishing, you know, maybe there's some disagreements on, oh, you should use this swivel or, oh, you need to use this hook or this type of line, whether it's braid or floral carbon. But I never thought it would be, oh, you can't eat the bass. You have to throw them back. Or, of course, you can eat the bass. You don't throw them back. So, I don't know. Kind of interesting. Let's see what goes on. Good. So the water temperature right here is just under 50 degrees right now. And the depth is 110 feet. Let's we'll see what happens here. I can tell you this, whether, uh, whether you catch fish or not, it's nice to be out on the lake. Yeah. So from where I was at, you can see 
I mean, we're kind of drifting nowhere back, but I'm, I'm headed north. No specific reason. I've never been up here before. Um, I just want to see what's going on. I actually want to kind of work my way over to some of these coves where there's cliffs. Take this other pole and throw a different little bait on. Maybe we'll catch some crappies. Uh -huh. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I don't know, I, uh, this looks like kind of a cool little place. They say for uh, crappies, you're supposed to look for like little cliffs and coves and stuff like that. I don't know, is it a bad sign that nobody else is here fishing? Yeah, I don't know. So we'll give it a try. I'll pull in uh, the striper lure, bass lure, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, I'll throw on this little jig that I have uh, in a kit not been recommended or anything so I don't know we'll see see what's going on here see what happens I mean what's the worst that could happen you don't catch a fish what's the best that could happen catch a fish I'd eat it. What about you? Trying this little guy out. No luck. Don't look like I'm going to be catching any crappie today. I won't catch my first one, but you never know. I don't know. Crappie have like paper thin lips. I think I saw that on a YouTube channel. Maybe it was uh, Bren when he had Will Carrier out with him. They were catching crappies. I just don't think I watch all your videos. I do. Maybe you'd be watching mine. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Can you guys even see? See that guy down there? Bring them all the way up, put them down. It's pretty cool. I don't even see any fish here. It's one nice thing about this little pontoon, it's Quest Angler. You can get clear up in these areas where you can't get a boat. It's kind of cool. here. Either that or we're snagged up. Ah, I think we're snagged up. But I don't know. Really, I don't know. It's interesting for sure. I don't feel anything fighting. There is something on there. Look at that. There is something on there. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Man. Another. I really got this guy. I really got this guy. Man. Skunk today. Okay. All right. Nice size one, huh? So we're in this uh, little cove here. It's where we caught the striper at. Um, fish finder 
shows all kinds of fish in here. I don't know what, what exactly they are. I can only imagine if there's one striper, there's probably more. To throw the uh, deep diving lure back out. I'd like to get one on the lure. Um, but then we have the umbrella rig on the other side. I did lose one of the the wires, so I um, only have four four uh, swim baits on it. So yeah, maybe they'll still hit it. Who knows? I'd like to see him hit this lure, though. That'd be fun. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's just hit the bottom. Fish tacos tonight. Two decent sized stripers, they're pretty healthy. Pretty peaceful out here right now. It's like really quiet. Calm down quite a bit. It's not as calm as it was two weeks ago when I was out here, but it's a lot better than it was a couple hours ago. Uh, this is a this is doable right here. So um, I only found one spot that really had stripers so far. Well, at least that I was catching. And um, yeah, I don't know about the crappies. I I'm gonna have to watch some more videos and do some more reading up on it. Um, I just don't know what I'm doing with that yet. So, but, so we'll just keep doing this, the striper thing for right now. I don't know. Maybe I'll, uh, hit another cove and try the crappie thing again, but I don't really think I have the right, uh, bait for it right now. So, but it's, uh, pretty peaceful out here. Still enjoying uh, my day. We've caught uh, two stripers so far. Well, my friends, uh, unfortunately for me, that uh, wraps up today's fishing expedition. It was a great day out on the lake. Uh, caught two stripers. Uh, at least it wasn't skunked, right? Um, but the best part was uh, being able to get away from everything, clear, clear my mind out on the lake, enjoy Mother Nature, and uh, just look at the beautiful scenery. And then uh, to top it off, you know, catch, catch a couple fish. Uh, I did try for some crappies. I need to study up on that a little bit more. I don't know if I have the right bait or looking at the right location. So, and I just focused on stripers. Uh, the fish finder wasn't showing uh, the fish like I am used to, so they're definitely somewhere else, um, and I just didn't find them. Did find a couple in the cove. I don't know if they were resident stripers or not, but they were pretty healthy up in there, and uh, um, it was a lot of fun. So I really hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I plan on uh, sharing my journey with uh, you guys via this channel, YouTube. Um, you can also check out my Facebook page. I have Instagram and some goofy stuff on TikTok also. Um, and I do have a Twitter page. Not very active on that, but I'm, I'm working on it. So um, hit that subscribe button and uh, give me some tips as a new fisherman. And uh, let me know what you think. Have a good night.